My name is Dalian Gravers and I'm the creator of App Member Site. And in this video, I'll show you how easily I can convert this uh, membership site into using Optimus Press uh, 2.0. Um, so it's a membership site. We have some different levels. We have some, uh, it's been designed in uh, Optimus Press 2, uh, Optimus Press 1. And we have uh, different levels uh, with module and each below each module, we have some uh, pages for it. Um, so we have a bunch of different pages. If I had to do uh, update all this to uh, Optimus Press, normally it will take a long time. Uh, I up create all pages uh, manually. So what I've done is I've created a plugin that I'll just install, I believe. Optimus Press Migration 2.0. Hopefully there's also a newer version of it. Then we'll activate this plugin. So now we got a new setting down here called Optimus Migrate, and that's cool. The first thing is uh, we have, let's go back to the pages here and then just start with the, the lowest page we have. Uh, in here, we have something like a page called video. And this page we want to convert to use Optimus Press 2. And I just wanted to view the page. So we have a lot of all these videos uh, things. So the first thing is I will do is I will create a new page for this page builder. And we'll call this member content template. And we'll select one from the gallery. And I like this one. It's good. It gives some some good information, and proceeds to step two. So the first thing is I will delete this one. Delete this element. We don't want the lessons thing because we have not used that. Here I will add uh, the title, and we have some short codes for it. So we'll just say title here, and then I have to scroll all the way to the bottom and say insert, and then here I will. Add the, the page content of these pages and, and, and I do this by with this uh, short code insert and actually I do like to add the, the this one called breadcrumb membership breadcrumb to help the navigation and we'll just use this one and it's been placed down here and I think we should probably put it up here on top of the page. And then we have some more text. This one, we don't want this. We delete it. And here, just for the fun, we will also add the same content. So we could del delete any one of these here. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we have some membership settings that may be relevant. No. Uh, 
uh, layout we want to change the page thumbnail and the header navigation um, we want to use a banner at media and I have it just up here this is the, the old banner uh, that, that has changed a little but it's the size of it has changed a little but it's it's okay so and I think we want this one and we can do all of these uh, different things menu bar should be the member menu bar and foot area dot 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 update so hopefully now it's been changed oh we put it in as a logo uh, layout settings Oh, removing, I guess it was a banner that we were adding. Maybe it is now in the URL media library. See if it's here. It's right here. Show and insert into post. See if it's better now. Now it's better. Uh, and we've got the content more training here, down here. So this is good. Uh, probably I don't li like this uh, background here. Uh, maybe it's in this one. Here we can see this as background image and we don't want that. So we'll just update it. So now we don't have that background image. No, and we are good to go. So we'll save this, save and close. So now we can convert all the pages into this format, uh, and we'll do the optimized migration tool, and we will select this template that we get, membership content template. Maybe I should spell it correctly. And I think it is the content. And then we can see there's a bunch of different videos on this one. And we'll just select them all and say run. So if we update this one now. We can see it has been updated. Probably this isn't the, the best background uh, uh, for using and we may even be able to play the video and the video works. So this was really simple and uh, we can see the text is also here. Next up is we have the module pages which is a bit different. Uh, where it should just show the text and there's no video on these uh, but it just shows this is an overview and what's below this one so this is also something where we'll create a new page builder template on page builder change the zoom again and maybe this one is 
a good choice or we should just be using this one. I think we'll take this one. Um, so we'll go down to the bottom here. And we need to change the logo. Head on navigation, I guess. Hopefully it will be easier this time. Remove image and we add a banner. From media library. So this will be the title. I don't know if I want this image, I think not. Uh, and here we have the content. Thing changed the one I was clicking on. Content and then no nope, membership. And I think all of these thing I will probably delete these. Because well, it's, they're not generic, so maybe we you would add those later. Uh, and this one just shows all the membership pages, all the pages below it, uh, and which one you should want. WordPress or I think is the better one depending on how you're naming the things uh, insert and we are good to go save and close save okay so now we go to the optimize migrate and then we select this new membership membership module template and we select I guess it's the module say run this will give us a list and then we just say run now we got all of those defined so if we refresh this one um, it forgot the menu so I guess we didn't do a good enough job with uh, defining how this uh, page should be. Uh, we even got to <laughs> edit the, the main membership page. So I guess this is a good reason why you needed to, to do test on it. Uh, edit page. And we get the live builder dismiss. Product category. 
Ah, I guess this was the one I wanted to have selected uh, for the the pages. Save and close. Oh. View the page now. Then we can see all the, the pages are here. And <laughs> if we had selected uh, on the, the template when we applied it, uh, to also use just uh, pages below it. Uh, like this. then we would see the video that we converted and stuff like this. So here in just 15 minutes, 16 minutes, I have converted a full membership site uh, onto Optimize Press 2.0. Probably I should have spent an hour of, of half an hour more on just figuring out how I would design these best so most of the content would be visible. Obviously, this is not a good layout design uh, because it's not readable. Uh, but using these uh, techniques makes it really simple and allows me to just create the, the pages that I want. And I got everything configured to use Optimize Press uh, for this. Um, so I hope this has been helpful and something you want to, to try out. Uh, if you want to, to try it, there's a link just below this video, click it and you can buy this uh, tool. It's risk-free uh, and you, yeah, uh, see the video, what it, it, it describes. But basically, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee on it, and you'll be able to to use it to convert all your different uh, WordPress themes. Uh, just remember, creating the the templates is a good thing and makes it much easier to to really uh, create some killer pages. So until we meet again, goodbye.